Hi guys, Callum here with another What Mobile ICYMI. Nokia could well unveil their new Android phone by the end of the month. The new handset is currently known as Normandy, but most likely to be named the Nokia X upon release. This would be Nokia's first ever Android powered phone, as all of their previous smartphones have run on the Windows operating system. Whilst details of the Normandy are limited, we can presume that it will probably be a low cost effort due to the phone's reduced specs. It will contain 8GB of storage and 512MB of RAM. The announcement is expected to arrive during Nokia's press event at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona on February 24th, and will most likely push updates on their Windows phones to the periphery. Virgin Atlantic will be trialling Google Glass at Heathrow Airport. The international airline will be equipping their groundside concierge staff with wearable tech for a trial period of six weeks. The aim is to increase the quality of service for upper class passengers after a recent survey found out that over half of travellers find flying to be less glamorous than it used to be. Virgin has stated that if the test is successful, it will consider a wider rollout of the device, also using it to keep its staff notified of passengers' dietary requirements and other personal preferences related to their flight. Sony have made another big PS Vita announcement. The Slim, the newest version of the portable console, will finally be released in the US this spring. Not only that, but a whole host of exciting new games have been unveiled. First of all is the Borderlands 2 bundle, which will also be available packaged with the Vita Slim in the US. It will contain a port of the hugely popular console game of the same name, as well as all six DLC packs. There's also the Slide Trilogy, which will contain all three of the original PS2 platformers, available in the UK on April 16th and May 27th stateside. Finally, there's the God of War collection. The critically acclaimed first two games of the series will come to the Vita in early May and could apparently feature touchscreen support. That's all for today. For more news and views, head on over to whatmobile.net.